In 2017, Efren Beta Reyes tugged on our heartstrings when he confessed that he was no longer the great magician that the world of billiards came to know. They think I still play great. I already have a disadvantage over others. There are many good players now. They're making a meal out of me. He said this in a report by ABS-CBN. Nothing is more heartbreaking than your hero saying these words of resignation with a hint of bitterness for the sport he dominated for decades. But true to his character, he offers a disarming smile, his other weapon to dispel our bitterness about his confession. It's as if he's saying, that's life. Like that's the men. Reyes has earned his nickname The Magician because of the seemingly impossible pool tricks he played on his opponents. Legend has it that he's always eight moves ahead of his opponents. He studies the table and predicts the shots, but now he faces his toughest opponent yet, which is time. In this sport, I have played many opponents, but when I can no longer play, like now when my hands hurt and my eyesight is already poor, we don't know whether I'll retire right after this or maybe next year, or I might still be able to play next year or the year after. I'm getting old, he said. Mm -hmm. It really was. Reyes is easily in a league with the world's top athletes, many sports analysts considering him the greatest billiards player of all time. Many people might think that, considering Reyes' 70 international titles, including his four-time World 8-Ball Championship titles, he's up there rolling in cash with the likes of other all-time greats such as Manny Pacquiao, Tiger Woods, and Michael Phelps. In truth, billiards champions get paid a pittance compared to other top athletes from other more popular sports. I mean, it's his nature, it's his instinct. That's all he knows is winning in tough sets, you know, so. Efren can win, you know, naturally he wins every set with his A game. He wins most all sets with his B game. If he plays his C game, you'll get close. And in 2017, Reyes lamented the rising cost of participating in a tournament, which usually cost $5,000 for airfare and accommodation. The prize for third placers at the time was only $5,000, meaning you'd break even if you had no sponsors. At the height of billiards popularity, the top prize at tournaments was usually $100,000. These days, that's down to $30,000 at most. In 2011, he pocketed a winning purse of $8,000 when he won the US Open One Pocket Championship. You'll see it all over his face, how, how he looks. Oh, uh, did he get this too soft? Did he hit it too Good soft? Speed. Reyes speed. is going to advance to this. Oh, unbelievable. What a shot. That's unbelievable. What a sh Efren Beta Reyes is every Filipino who pulled themselves out of poverty. Reyes was born to a poor family in a small town in Pampega. He's the fifth of nine children. They lived in a small house without electricity or running water. When Reyes turned five years old, his parents decided to send him to his uncle in Manila. That's when Reyes' fate changed. His uncle owned a billiard hall, where Reyes helped out by cleaning pool tables. He naturally became obsessed with billiards and spent many hours watching players make mistakes. It was these mistakes that he studied closely. He was also thrilled to see players make balls move around obstacles and into pockets. By age 8, Reyes had tried his hand at billiards. He stood on crates of Coca-Cola to reach the table. And by age 9, he played his first ever match with a money bet. Reyes for the game and for a 5-3 advantage in the set. 
Eight balls always the toughest. Game is the right. When he was 12, he was already one of Manila's best pool players. He participated in the tournament and won a cool $100 in prize money. He kept $10 and sent the rest to his family in Pampega. His moniker, Beta, was given to him not because he was such a good pool player at such a young age, but because there was another person named Efren, who also played pool. It came to a point that Reyes' notoriety for billiards became so widespread in the Philippines that no one wanted to play him anymore. In his 20s, Reyes decided that the Philippines was a small pond and wanted to go into the ocean, so he joined tournaments in Asia. He used a different name to confuse players in 1985. Knowing that he was already famous worldwide for his ungodly skills in pool, Reyes decided to use an alias in 1985 to throw off players from avoiding him. Instead of going by his real name, he used the name of his best friend, Cesar Morales, and surprised players at the Reds Open 9-ball tournament in Houston, Texas. For 21 days, he beat every unsuspecting challenger, who did not know they were actually playing the legendary shooter from the Philippines. I would like to present to the new King of the Hill, uh, Mr. Efren Reyes, his award for his fabulous match play, $200,000. The unbeaten Reyes ended up hauling $81,000 back home to the Philippines. But where is Efren Beto Reyes now? These days, in his twilight years, the legendary Reyes no longer plays pool. In the world of billiards, Reyes is held in such reverence and worship that he still gets invited to tournaments even if he doesn't play. <laughs> and the champion admits that his signature nine ball is no longer as popular as before, replaced with one pocket, which disregards the safety and defense aspect of nine ball. Present, Reyes lives in his home in Angeles Pampega, where he likes to spend time with his family and grandchildren. As for the future of billiards, Reyes humbly looks towards the younger generation to keep the Philippines' torch alight. There are a lot of kids who will bring and continue billiards for us and for me. Maybe I, I'm done with billiards. They should play and take care of the game. They have to do what happened, and I did. He said in an interview with Spin.ph. Reyes' star may be fading as the dominant player in the world, but his legacy as the humblest, simplest, and unassuming world champion with his ever-disarming toothless smile will always be the face of Filipino sportsmanship, amid the aggressiveness and abrasiveness of most sports legends. Yeah! A new king of the hill! Efren Reyes. Wow. How excited is he right now? Well, he must be absolutely, is Renee Siegel, very disappointed, obviously. A historic match.